All the tools necessary to complete the repair are available on xclampkit.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the red ring of death on the Xbox 360 using the X-Clamp fix. Remove your hard drive by pressing this button and lifting up. Next you will need to remove your faceplate. I find it easiest to put my thumb in the USB port slot and pull up. Place your Xbox down horizontally. You must now remove the side panels on the Xbox starting on the right side, the one that doesn't hold a hard drive. There are tabs inside these holes that must be released. One is here, here, and here. You can use a pointy object or an Xbox opener tool to release these tabs. Once you have these released, flip the Xbox 360 over and begin releasing the three tabs on the other side. They will be in the same area. Now that you've got the right side panel removed, flip the Xbox over and begin working on the left side panel. This one will be a bit tricky. Just insert your Xbox opening tool into these slots, or use a pointy tool to release the tabs. Now once again, just poke tabs, flip the Xbox over and work on the tabs on the other side. You may have to go back and forth between tabs as they may lock back in. There are seven tabs on the back of the Xbox that have to be released. This is easily done with an Xbox opening tool because they're specifically designed to fit the seven slots in the back. In this video, I am using a pointy tool, so it will take a little bit more effort. Now, it's generally recommended to start on the side with five tabs. However, I start on the side with two tabs as it actually made it easier for me to open the Xbox. Just insert your Xbox opening tool into these slots or use a pointy tool to release the tabs. Hold the two sides of the case a bit so the tabs don't lock again. Now, Turn your Xbox 360 over so you can see the front of it. If this is your first time opening the Xbox 360, you will have to remove your warranty sticker. You will need to release three tabs on the front, here, here, and here. You can use a corner of your Xbox opener to do this or you can just use your fingers. 
Now place the Xbox down horizontally on its top and remove the case. Take out your T10 screwdriver for this step. There are six T10 screws that hold the other part of the case. And we must unscrew these to gain access into the Xbox 360. There is one here. 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 And here. Use your T10 screwdriver to unscrew all of these. Now lift up your Xbox 360 so you can see the front of it. You're going to have to remove this eject button before removing the other part of the case. Just use your thumb to remove it, it comes right out. Now you can remove the other part of the case. You now have access inside the Xbox 360.